We're about to enter the strange realm of quantum computers, machines that calculate using the mysterious powers of quantum mechanics. Unlike regular computers that use binary bits, quantum computers leverage qubits which can represent multiple states simultaneously. This allows them to process a vast amount of information in parallel, achieving tremendous speeds. Now try to imagine this. If your standard laptop could instantly solve calculations that would take normal computers thousands of years, this sounds like 100 years from now, but quantum computers are real and under rapid development by major players. Who's building these cosmic supercomputers? It's a space race of sorts with tech titans battling it out. Google, IBM, Intel and Microsoft are all big tech companies pouring massive investments into quantum technology. Even governments are intensely interested, which we'll get to shortly. But first, how do quantum computers gain their extraordinary abilities? The answer lies with qubits. But what exactly are qubits? Qubits rely on the phenomenon of superposition, the ability to exist in multiple states at once. Take the example of a coin. It can be heads or tails, but never both simultaneously. However, a qubit can essentially be heads and tails at the same time due to superposition. Wild, right? Entanglement is another critical quantum property connecting qubits in a sort of cosmic link. This allows quantum computers to process a tremendous amount of information in parallel. While normal bits can only be one or zero, qubits expose many possibilities in between. Now we begin to grasp why quantum computers are so powerful. Recognizing this immense potential, Google partnered with NASA on a cutting-edge quantum computer project. They gained access to the exotic D-Wave quantum computer at NASA's Ames Research Center. Their ambitious goal was to push the boundaries of quantum computing and usher in a new era of technology. However, this project came to a startling halt when the US government requested it is shut down due to a startling development. Concerns emerged over the virtually unlimited power quantum computers possess. The government took the drastic action of shutting down the Google and NASA quantum computer and Amis Lab altogether. This sent shockwaves through the science community, with many left questioning the future of quantum technology. But what happened behind the scenes to provoke such intense concern? Let's first gain perspective from thought leaders like Elon Musk on the dangers of AI uncontrolled. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla and SpaceX, has been vocal about the existential threat advanced AI poses if not properly controlled. Similarly, quantum computers hold tremendous power. Musk warns that merging AI and quantum computing could have catastrophic consequences if handled irresponsibly. What exactly makes quantum computers so concerning? For one, their extreme computational power allows them to break current encryption methods with ease. All modern security protocols rely on encryption. But quantum computers using Shor's algorithm can rapidly factor huge numbers and crack encryption codes. Just imagine if top secret data fell into malicious hands. It's a huge risk. Moreover, the combined force of quantum computing and advanced AI is likely to surpass human intelligence. Once this technological singularity is reached, the genie is out of the bottle, so to speak. Prominent figures like Musk urge us to proceed cautiously rather than headlong into this powerful but unpredictable future. But clearly, not all share this restraint. We now glimpse why the government moved to shut down NASA and Google's quantum computing project. The prospect of uncontrolled computing power was too unpredictable. This shutdown was extremely costly for Google, potentially setting back its quantum plans by years. More broadly, the government restricting emerging technology raises complex issues around censorship and freedom. At what point does protection go too far? These tensions will only heighten as quantum research advances. The story doesn't end here though. With government operations back on track, the quantum computer and quantum dream remain poised for a comeback. But controlling this cosmic power requires wisdom. AI visionaries like Demis Hassabis of DeepMind call for an AI safety net, global coordination to avoid catastrophic pitfalls. Quantum computing likely requires a similar quantum safety net. Multi-stakeholder collaboration can chart the safest path forward. But with competing interests, is true unity possible? Perhaps an independent organisation could oversee responsible development, upholding ethics as a key pillar. Philosophers may also have an important role to play in contemplating existential risks. We must dig deep and ask the hard questions if we hope to ethically harness the cosmic might of quantum technology. This balancing act between breakthroughs and regulation, 
highlights a key tension. Innovation moves faster than governance structures. So how do we adapt? The prospect of a quantum arms race is concerning. Just as nuclear weapons escalated apocalyptic dangers, uncontrolled quantum development could be destabilizing. Diplomacy and cooperation are essential to avoid catastrophe. Furthermore, the concentrated power of government-run quantum programs risks skewing research to military rather than humanitarian ends. The broadest benefits could be achieved if quantum computing followed an open source model instead. There are always trade-offs between secrecy and transparency, but in emerging fields like quantum tech, sharing information may give the best outcomes for humanity overall. The quantum era will require expanding our moral imagination. How do we steer this cosmic force toward human flourishing rather than destruction? The conversations we have now are crucial for shaping the quantum future. Some believe advanced aliens may already be using black holes as giant quantum computers. Perhaps we can learn from civilizations who successfully navigated this technology responsibly. Our quantum vision must look inward and outward in space and time. While uncertainties abound, we must proceed with hope, wisdom and care. With courage and collective action, we can harness the beautiful potential of quantum computing to unlock humanity's next cosmic chapter. Our quantum future awaits. While this quantum computing project faced obstacles, its future potential remains bright. There are simply too many groundbreaking applications of quantum technology that will propel its advancement. Fields like AI, drug discovery, financial modelling, cryptography and more will be revolutionised by the power of quantum computing. We have merely scratched the surface of what will become possible in a quantum world. It's even possible that alien civilizations far more advanced than us already wield this technology on a cosmic scale. Nevertheless, we must walk this path with great intention and care. Quantum computing introduces complex risks alongside spectacular possibilities. Without sufficient foresight and planning, we may follow in the footsteps of ancient Icarus who flew too close to the sun only to plummet tragically. Rather than reckless acceleration, we need quantum development built on strong ethical foundations and aligned with humanitarian goals. Wisdom must balance wonder and conscience guide curiosity. Multi-stakeholder alliances can help ensure the broadest perspectives shape quantum technology for the benefit of all life on Earth and beyond. We stand at a truly historic juncture. Let us step forward together into the quantum future with hope, courage and moral vision leading the way our collective destiny awaits. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.